All right, everyone, this is Justin William Savoy. So what I have here before me is something I just got in the mail today. This is Newman, His Life and Spirituality, an Intellectual and Spiritual Biography of John Henry Newman, Louis Boyer of the Oratory, Ignatius Press. Sitting out in my back patio, taking a look at this book. I've been waiting for this uh, in the mail. No voice from beyond the grave speaks to us as powerfully as Newman does, because there is no one who speaks more directly to the heart, as there is no one who speaks more directly from the heart. What is that? Cor ad cor? Cor ad cor lequitor? Is that what it is? Heart speaks to heart? I'm trying to think. Um, that was, I think he got that from Francis de Sales, I think is who he got that saying from. But anyways, um, John Henry Newman, recently beatified by Pope Benedict, was a famous Anglican convert to the Catholic Church, an Oratorian priest, a brilliant author of novels, poems, and acclaimed spiritual works, and renowned preacher. Newman had a great impact on the intellectual and spiritual journey of the author, Father Louis Boyer, who became a famous theologian and spiritual writer. His exchange with the thought of Newman over the years is a model of theological dialogue as Boyer understood it. The passion knit engagement with the free assimilation of all that can illuminate the Catholic truth. Boyer does not see in Newman the eminent Victorian but potential contemporary, not the sub subtle philosopher, but a Christian of integrity who sought all his life to follow Christ and did so with an edifying fidelity. Boyer studied important unpublished documents by Newman at the Brigham Oratory and addressed the delicate question of Newman's sensitive temperament, the key uh, to entering the world of this great theologian. For Boyer, one of the principal elements of the spiritual universe of Newman is a genuine mysticism of Christ, the irreplaceable mirror outside of which God's radiance eludes fallen man and only appears as shadow. Boyer shows that as St. Augustine was the great apostle to the early church and St. Thomas Aquinas was to the Middle Ages, so was Newman that for modern times, a work of major significance for anyone who wants to approach the towering figure of John Henry Newman. Father Louis Boyer, 1913 through 2004, was one of the great theologians of the 18th century. Born in France, Boyer was a Lutheran minister, oh, that's very interesting, who converted to Catholicism. He was a member of the oratory in France and authored many major theological works. His ideas contributed greatly to the Second Vatican Council. Newman, his life and spirituality. Used, so there's no ISBN there like to show you. This is in good shape to this book. I'm happy with that. I got a really good deal on this. And I'm interested in Newman and um, the Oxford Movement, Tractarians. All of those things right now has been kind of my main reading, really. And also, um, um, St. Philip Neri, too, um, and the oratory and all that stuff. I watched several oratorians uh, speak about Newman. Uh, just so interesting um, of a spiritual journey. Um, and it just coincides with, I didn't really plan on or think I'd be so interested in this Anglo-Catholic, Anglican, and ordinariate type of stuff, but I have been lately, so be that as it may, I'm just going to kind of continue in that um, in my own personal studies. Uh, childhood and Adolescence, The Conversion of 1816, The Oxford Undergraduate, The Fellow of Oriel, The Tudor, Illness and Bereavement, The Voyage in the Mediterranean, Illness in Sicily, The Oxford Movement, The Via Media, St. Mary and Littlemore, Crisis, From Track 90 to Rome, The Parting of Friends, Early Catholic Days, Rome and the Oratory, The Oratory in England, Early Days, The Catholic University, Opera Interrupta, 
shadow and sunlight, the cloud is lifted. Ex umbris et imaginibus in veritatem. Index. Yeah, so Monsignor H. Francis Davis. Yeah, cool little book. Uh, looks very interesting. Happy to add it to the collection. This is going to be like my probably current spiritual biography type reading. I love this kind of stuff because I just loved um, reading Father Bede Griffith's autobiography, um, or it's a biography rather. Um, I think like the Golden Strand was more biographical, but just um, stuff about these scholars, intellectuals, people who loved literature and who also um, had a spiritual calling in life. And I think it's that book called Out of Darkness, I think. Um, I'll have to look at it. I think I've done a review on that about B. Griffiths, but just, I, I love to read those stories, even like the stuff about um, Lewis, like surprised by joy and things of that nature. And it's good, um, easy, light reading, fun. All the literary references, um, and these books too, I dig on them quite a bit. So anyways, this is Justin William Savoy with a very short video. I just wanted to keep on, um, keep it on and pushing out uh, new content for you guys. All right, peace.